Welcome to my how-to video. Today I'll be showing you how to install an AMD CPU into a motherboard or replacing it. Getting started, the first things you'll need is Arctic Silver 5, which is a heat sink compound, a card of any kind so you can spread the heat sink compound, a rubbing alcohol swab if you're going to be reusing the heat sink from your old CPU, you will need to clean it off thoroughly before putting more heat sink compound. Getting started, you'll notice that there's two hooks on each side of the heat sink. What you will do is go in the front here, pull this lever back, which will detach that, pull it up and back and out. And you'll notice that there's no heat sink compound on the CPU or heat sink because I cleaned it off prior to the video as you see right there. Now on taking out your CPU, you will want to move this lever all so gently out like this until you got it out nice and you pull it back. Pull it back until you hear a pop sound. Don't worry, you have not broken your motherboard. Pull it out gently and make sure you don't bend any of these pins or damage them because it could cause your CPU to be faulty or even worse, not fit in your motherboard. So you'll want to put that down nice and gently like so. Now on installing the CPU, you'll want to look at the look for the golden triangle on the bottom of the CPU and match it up with the triangle that's on the CPU tray. And you're going to put it down ever so gently, trying to keep it as in line as possible. Set it down nicely like that, and then You'll pull the lever down slowly and gently, but you will need to put some pressure down. Then lock it into place. Then there you go. During the installation of your CPU, if for any reason the CPU does not go down into the CPU tray, do not push it down may, while it may cause the pins to be damaged. I actually recommend to do this even with a new CPU is grab a clean new alcohol swab and wipe it down on the top like so and then do the same with the heat sink just mainly around the area where the CPU will be touching so the heat sink compound can get a total effect because you do not want your CPU to be overheating now to apply the heat sink compound to the CPU I would just apply a small amount right in the center of the CPU like so. Then you'd want to grab your card and spread it around. And if you feel it's not enough, don't worry, you can always add more. S to me, I just don't think it's worth the money to waste it. On the count, this stuff is like $10 a pop. I wouldn't recommend buying any cheaper stuff than this because it won't work properly. So you want the best for your CPU because then you'll have lag and other problems like that. So see what I'm doing here? I'm just spreading it all around. See how much spread I can get on here? off that just a little bit I know some people and there's some videos out there that they just put a whole lot of compound on here and to me that's not right when you do it that way the CPU and the heat sink don't connect properly this way you get a proper connection make sure you get it nice on there And certain spots that you were having a hard time getting, like I'm kind of having right now in the middle, a little bit, you won't need to worry about it because once you get the heat sink on, it'll spread a little bit better. And once the CPU heats up, it'll spread a little more as well. But I still recommend it. I still recommend you try to get this as best as possible. Absolutely. I 
there we go, I think that's about good enough. Just get a little bit more. Right there. Okay. Now I'm putting on the heat sink. So you'll want to do the same as when you took it off. Just you'll need to connect the back latch first. Like so, like that. Make sure it's on there good. Then you want to pull this one forward. Connect it on there and pull it back in the opposite direction, the way you where it originally was before you even took off the heat sink. There you go. Thanks for watching how to install an AMD CPU. Please stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.